Hello, my name is Yusuf from Key Performance Ideas. I'm an analyst here, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to create your own dashboards and uh, showing you some uh, cool features that you can uh, use with these dashboards. So first of all, I'd like to show you the uh, final product of what the dashboard uh, that we are going to be creating looks like. So if I go into the dashboard section, go to my uh, YHS demo, here's the dashboard. I have a comment here, the table, and the dashboard showing here. I can change my entity to whatever entity I'd like it to go to, but I, I, uh, you always have to click go after that to refresh the, the dashboard. And you can see that the uh, dashboard here changed real time in terms of what the data looks like here. And the reason I mention this is because uh, this becomes very useful in terms of uh, changing your uh, numbers and seeing the effect of your uh, of changing these numbers on your gross income or uh, gross margin and gross income or whatever uh, members you choose to uh, put in your dashboard. I'll be showcasing this a little later, but for now I'm going to be showing you how to create this dashboard. Uh, a, a little background knowledge about this is uh, some prerequisites that you have to create beforehand. Uh, every dashboard here, except the uh, the commentary or uh, yeah the commentary, uh, has an underlying form beneath it. So this dashboard has a form beneath it, and obviously this table is a form. So before we get to this point, we have to create the forms. And I'm going to be going to the forms section in my simplified interface, just showing you uh, what these forms look like, and maybe uh, show you some features that. Uh, I thought were useful when I was creating these, these uh, dashboards. So I'm gonna start with my uh, demo one form, which is on the uh, bottom of the, uh, of the dashboard. So if I go to my layout, and this is where I create, created my dashboard to, to, be a, uh, to go into specific POV for my account uh, periods and uh, scenario here. Uh, one thing that I would like to uh, mention is the uh, expand all for the um, for the uh, periods or whatever members you would like to expand. So I usually like to start uh, start expanded with the form that's on the bottom that I'm going to show you later, and then uh, non expanded for the table because uh, you know you'd like your user to expand wherever they want it to to expand. Uh, make sure that this is a report form rather than a input form in terms of your, uh, your dashboard, because the dashboard can only uh, view the uh, one account at a time, and this is what's actually showing in the dashboard, as you uh, might have noticed. So moving on to actually uh, creating the dashboard. So after I created these two forms, one is a report form and one is a input form, and the only difference between import and report form is uh, the import form goes all the way to zero level data, so you can actually change that data and see it real time in your report form. So I'm already at my dashboard section. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and create some uh, dash, create the dashboard to mimic the one that I showed you in the beginning. So there are three artifacts here, three, uh, three things that you can add to your designer. One is your forms, your tables that I showed on the right, upper right, and then uh, the chart types, what chart you saw on the bottom, and, the, and you can add an, another artifact, uh, which is either uh, commentary or URL. So let's actually start by adding uh, my first uh, dashboard, which is the income statement demo two. And how you do that is you click and drag and place it anywhere for the first one that you add. This is the uh, input form, import uh, table that I added, and this is the, uh, the, uh, the second one will be the dashboard. So I'm not going to add it here because I want it to be a chart. So I go to my chart section and I add it. I want it to be a column uh, chart. So there, are, there are, you can put this chart wherever you want, on the left side, upper side, right side, or lower side. And uh, the key to this is to put it between the dashed lines and the lower uh, and the, the bottom, or between the dashed lines and whatever uh, artifact you have above that. So obviously, this is a sample uh, dashboard. This is not the information that I had in this form in, a, in my report form that I created beforehand. So to change that, I go to my settings, I go to my data, and add my underlying form 
to this uh, dashboard. So I'm just going to search it here and add my uh, demo one. And that should show me exactly what my form looks like. Uh, before I move on to other things, uh, I would like to ch uh, add in a max label uh, position. So I would like to see numbers as my max here. So what's my maximum number for both of these? I also like to change the legend position to the bottom. I can control the height here, but I, I can show you guys a better way to control the, uh, how this looks. So the way you do that is you go to the settings of the whole uh, designer, and that should give you the layout as fixed or flexible. Change that to flexible and close, and then that would give you the ability to change that, the width or the height of any of your uh, dashboards. So right now, as you can see, this is the, the form that's not showing correctly. All I need to do is refresh, and that will uh, push it down to where it's supposed to be. Now, my third artifact here that I wanted to add was the commentary uh, side. So I click and drag, as I showed you, and I want it to be on the left side of my uh, demo two form. And I wanted to say this, these actuals or we always over budget. Let's change that. I can change the how big this looks, and you can see it's changing real time here, how big or small it looks. So I close that, and then I want it to be a little bigger or a little smaller. I can also actually hide the whole thing with the flexible uh, layout. So after that, I'd like to save my um, dashboard and change the name. Let's call it demo for KPI. And save that one more time. Close that. Let's go to our demo for KPI and go into runtime for our uh, dashboard. So here you can actually show the, you can see that the dimensions are showing. You can change the, the dimensions. Uh, you can hide hide what dimensions, uh, you know, the names of the dimensions, or you can show the names of the dimensions, as well as control what entity you want to see. So let's just keep it for uh, Canada or Mexico at the moment. And then, uh, as I was mentioning, this is really uh, beneficial for uh, a scenario analysis. Let's say uh, I want to change my uh, revenues. We over-budgeted our revenues for this, uh, our revenues for Group 1 for this month or this quarter. And I want to change them to 50000 instead of what it was. So I click in the cell, and I change it. And then I, you need to save. Uh, I, I save this so it can be pushed back to the cloud. And as I save it, you can see that my my dashboard changes real time here as uh, I input data in my quarters. And as my form shows me also that I can also expand in quarter three and change whatever budget or actuals that I uh, would like to change. Thank you for uh, listening. I appreciate, uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, the demo about dashboarding, and I hope this was beneficial to you. Uh, thank you for listening.